This video is about our home theater. My dad had this home theater built because the whole family likes watching movies together. And it's definitely better than going out to the movies. We enjoy watching movies in the comfort of our own home. First, let me tell you something about the screen. This is a 128-inch 16x9DIY screen. The material is from Elite Screen's Cinewhite Cine model with a 1.1 gain. This also has a DIY masking system that turns the screen into a 120-inch cinemascope. I'll show you later how the screen works. By the way, I forgot to say that this screen also goes up and down to reveal a 65-inch LED TV. We only use the TV for gaming with my PS4 and Wii U. And also for karaoke, because my mom likes singing a lot, and she's a good singer. Now I'm gonna talk about the speakers. As you can see, or cannot see, all the speakers are hidden. All speakers are from DIY Sound Group. They are semi-DIY speakers. You buy the kits and put it together. They send you all the crossover parts with a diagram and you solder it yourself. This is a 7.2.4 system. Left and right speakers are Fusion 12 Tempest. And the center channel is a Fusion 8 Alchemy. Surrounds on at Atmos speakers are all Vault 6 from DIY Sound Group. Also. These are really nice speakers with big sounds just like in the movies. Oh yeah, the, the two s subwoofers are also DIY. The drivers are 15 inch Dayton Audio HF series in a 4 cubic feet seal sealed enclosures. Both subs are powered by Crown XLS 1502, soon to be upgraded to 2002. These subs provide plenty of bass and shakes the whole room when watching movies. Really cool. This is the left front speaker with a subwoofer at the bottom. This is the right front speaker with another subwoofer at the bottom. This is the center channel. This is the left side surround. It's in a column. This is the right side surround. This is one of the Atmos speakers. There are four of these in the ceiling. The projector is a Sony 45ES projector. It's a full HD projector and the picture is really nice and clear. It's like a big LED TV without all the glare and reflection. The picture is even nicer when you have all the lights off and the home theater is really dark. Now these are the home theater seats. First row is where I sit most of the time. These are the best seats in the house. It's so comfortable and they recline. The screen is just so big from the first row. The second and third row are DIY seats. My dad had a carpenter make the frame and had it upholstered to make it look like real home theater seats. Not bad dad. This AV rack provides the power that the home theater needs. The receiver or the processor is a Denon X4100. It has 7 channels of power and can process up to 9.2 channels. Amplifiers used in this theater are a few Crown XLS version 2 series and a couple of Rotel amplifiers. The RB1080 and RMB1075.
Here we have the players like the Wii U, PS4, Karaoke, and a HTPC for watching movies. This is the 65 inch LED TV. The projector is on right now so you can see those things at the back. And turn this TV off and bring down the projector screen uh, so we could watch a movie.
And that's our home theater. I hope you liked that video and thank you for watching.